Hi everybody, everybody I'm back. Everybody Gina Young is back and I'm back with yet another amazing recipe. I am so excited yet another day because today at the Young's house, Gina Young is gonna share with you all how to make a childhood favorite. Everybody loves beef pot pie. This pot pie right here, it's amazing. It's so easy to make. It doesn't require a lot of ingredients. And you know, you make it Gina Young style, it's gonna be so tasty. Y'all never had my beef pot pie before. You better make yourself. Here are the lovely ingredients you will need. The first ingredient that you will need is some beef. So what I've chosen to use is I use the beef stew meat. Let me show you what it looks like. You know, it comes like this in big chunks. And what I've done is I've cut it down to little tiny chunks, okay? You will need some butter. This is some nice sweet cream salted butter. You're gonna need some beef bouillon. This is better than bouillon. You will need some eggs. The eggs is just gonna be used for an egg wash. And you'll need a nice sweet Vidalia onion. We have some pre-cut potatoes. Now, if you don't wanna use the canned potatoes, feel free to chop up some potatoes nice and small and boil them for about eight minutes. You will need cream of chicken soup. If you don't wanna use cream of chicken soup, you can always use cream of mushroom soup. And you'll need a couple of veggies. So right here we have the veggies that has the green beans, the peas, the carrots and corn. You're gonna need some heavy whipping cream and one of our stars of the dish. You're gonna need some pie crust. So this is the type of pie crust that I like to use. You can also use the pie crust that you kind of roll out and you can crimp up. So I'll show you that in this video. You're gonna need a couple of spices so we can spice everything up. You will need some parsley flakes salt, pepper, and cornstarch if needed. Make sure your hands are impeccably clean. Let's get started with this really quick and simple, yet so tasty recipe. Beef pot pie. I couldn't be more excited for this here recipe. Tell me in the comment section below, when is the last time you all had a nice pot pie? Pot pie is something that I grew up on. Did you grow up on pot pies? The kind with the uh, aluminum foil, dish and you can just throw them in the oven or throw them in the microwave. They're done in three, mi at three minutes and they are delicious. I'm gonna be honest with you all. We still buy those and we love them, but I'm gonna show you how to make them Gina Young style, okay? That is just over the top. Okay, so here's what we're gonna do. Let's go ahead and season our beef up. We're not gonna get crazy with it. We're just gonna use salt and pepper. That's all you need because this dish is gonna be so, so, so flavorful. You don't need the garlic powder and all that other stuff. So what we have here, we have a skillet and I have a little bit of vegetable oil in my skillet. We want to saute up or sear the meat until it's nice and golden brown and it's fully cooked, okay? Now, <laughs> meanwhile, let's go ahead and chop up the onion because I want to cook this onion as well. And like I said earlier, if you don't wanna use the can potatoes, go ahead and cut you like one or two small potatoes up, dice them up and boil them for about eight minutes and then drain them, okay? But I find, I've done it in my chicken pot pie video, you'll see me boil the potatoes. So if you're curious on how to do it, you'll see it on that video. But I found when I use these potatoes, they work the exact same and they taste the same. Okay, so let's go ahead and get some onion. I don't want too much. All right, we're gonna chop into this onion just like so. Get it nice and diced up. And when our beef is almost done, we'll add our onion in. And we have Prince and Polo. Polo, look up, honey, say hi. And Prince, you can see his, look at his face. His face is wet because this one right here has been looking him in the face. Show him your face, poo poo. <laughs> Time to get this show on the road. So take a look at the beef. Only took about, let's just say five, six minutes. Okay, and there was some extra oil in the pan. I just took a paper towel and I blotted the oil out. So now go ahead, get your onions in there. We're gonna saute up some onions. And once our onions are almost done, what we're gonna do is we're gonna take our veggies. 
uh, which is like, normally I like to use like a bag and a half. And let me see how many, let's see, this is a 12 ounce bag. So we're gonna use a bag and a half. If you wanna use more, use more, absolutely, that's fine. But what I do wanna do is I wanna get some of this better than bouillon, okay? Not too much, okay? This is all I'm gonna use. We're gonna get that in there and we wanna coat everything nice and well with this gorgeous seasoning here. Okay, so at this point, I have the heat up on a high heat. So we can start the cooking process of our onions. When the onions are halfway done, we'll go in with our veggies and I'll show you what to do next. Oh, it smells so good. Oh. So now that our onions have cooked for just about four minutes, they're starting to get nice and translucent. Let's go ahead and put in our veggies. Now, I wanna tell you all something really, really, really important in this is so important what I'm gonna say. Make sure you do not, don't go out and use the canned mixed vegetables. That's one of the worst things that you could do for this recipe. Um, the mixed vegetables that come in the can, they're delicious, they can be delicious, but it's not for this dish. You want your veggies to be nice and fresh. If you wanted to get the fresh green beans, chop them up yourself. If you wanted to chop up carrots yourself, you can do that. But this right here, this is my go-to. It's as fresh as you can get, okay? So like I said, about a bag and a half. Let's get that in and let's mix it in with that better than bouillon, that beef. And keep in mind that we took a paper towel and we blotted all the extra oil that the, um, that the beef made. We have onion in there. Look at this gorgeousness right here. And it's not gonna take long. We're gonna cook this for about seven to eight minutes. Let's go ahead and put in the potatoes. I don't want too many potatoes, so I usually like to use about, let's see, we'll just leave a little bit in the can, okay? Just like so. And at this point, since you've put the potatoes in, be kind of careful. You don't wanna break the potatoes up. Let's let everything get nice and warm. And when I come back, I'll show you what you should do next. So now that our veggies are nice and warm, we cook them for about eight to 10 minutes. Now it's time to go ahead and put like a tablespoon and a half of butter. We want the butter in there just to kind of round off everything and give that buttery taste. And then let me grab my rubber spatula. We're gonna go in with the cream of chicken or cream of mushroom. Heck, if you wanted to, you could use cream of celery, okay? So let's get that in just like so, and we wanna stir it. I'm gonna turn my heat all the way down to low, and let's stir everything together. Oh, you couldn't imagine the flavors right now that's in this dish right here. Oh, and when you think you put it inside of that pie crust and listen here, who are you in heaven? Mm, 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 mm. Let's get this well incorporated and I'll be right back. So now that we're to the point to where everything is nice and hot, let's go ahead and put some whipping cream in, heavy whipping cream. If you have half and half, guess what? It's okay, use your soap. All right, I don't like to put too much in because what you don't want is you don't want for this mixture right here to turn out thin and be soupy. You want it to be nice and thick, but not too thick, okay? I'm, I'm gonna show you the consistency, but all I can really do is show you, okay? I'm gonna put a little bit more in because I do need it a little bit thinner, but be careful. Always put in, a, start off with a little bit going in because if you put too much in, in the beginning, you can't take away. So you start off putting a little bit in, you can always add two. So this is the consistency that I'm looking for. Come back over here and take a look. Gorgeous, I'm very happy with that. So at this point, we're gonna turn this burner off. We're gonna grab out the pie crust. I'm gonna show you how to put together this Gina Young style beef pot pie, make you some. So now our pie crust is stored in the, um, freezer. But once you start your recipe, put it in the refrigerator because you're going to need that top piece to be nice and pliable. If you don't want to use one of these for your top crust, you can always use one of these, the kind that rolls out and you can kind of crimp it on yourself. But I like to use this. Okay, so either one is a great option. Now, right here, I have two egg yolks without the uh, whites. 
and I have mixed in a little bit of just cold water with it. That's going to be our egg wash. And that egg wash is going to create a beautiful golden brown color on the top of your crust. Let's get to filling this up. I'm so excited. Oh, I am so excited. Okay, so let's do it. Where is, here's my handy dandy spoon. Okay, I'm gonna pull this close to the pan. We're gonna get the filling. And what I did do, let me, let me be honest with you, I did put about two tablespoons of cornstarch in here, if you feel like you need it, okay? You might not need it. There's several times that I make it and I don't need it, but if I feel like I need it, put two tablespoons in. And then what I also did was I put a little bit more of that better than bouillon beef flavoring in here because it needed a little bit more seasoning. Okay, so what I like to do, I'm gonna really pal this in there. Oh yes, you bet we are. Just like so, get your oven preheated to, you can do 325 or 350. I'm gonna turn mine's on 350 and we're gonna cook it for 45 minutes. And when we're done, I'm gonna take this out. I'm gonna say an amazing prayer. You all are gonna get that first bite. So now that we have our pie crust nice and filled, let's go ahead and put our top on. Just like this, guess what? It's so simple. All right, now let's see. Try your hardest to get this off. <laughs> Come off for me. And it will, just be patient. All right. Just like that, kind of use your fingers to assist you. Look at this. Oh, ho, 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 ho. if you don't make you some Gina Young style, mm, 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 you don't know what you're missing. Pot pies. 101. I'm going to show you, once I get this nice and flat, I'm going to show you how I like to crimp the ends. It's really not crimping it, but it's just about sealing the uh, pie crust together. Let's go ahead and use this fork, but I need to wipe it down with a paper towel. Press it. Not too much. Use the fork. There you go. To seal the two. All right. See, it's kind of sticking on me. Let's just use our hands, okay? There we go. Seal the two crusts together. In the oven, we're gonna go, but before we get it into the oven, we're gonna rub this, and you can just use your fingers. Just rub that two egg yolks in cold water together, and rub it all on the top of this crust. Okay, so now you can see that everything is nice and sealed. You could also use the fork, but I feel like my fork was sticking because I have had it out of the freezer for so long. You know, if it was a little bit more colder, my fork wouldn't have stuck to it. So now you improvise, you use your fingers. Don't stress out in that kitchen, guys. You hear me, that's the last thing you wanna do when you're making any of Gina Young's recipes. Go in, just like so. Oh, and you wanna get every part of this crust, all right? In the oven we go. When it comes out, I'll let you know exactly how long it cooked, and we're gonna take a bite. Ooh, look at that. One more thing, before we go to the oven, let's put a little cross in the middle for ventilation. You need some type of ventilation so this doesn't burst open, okay? You can do an X, do a cross, do something fancy. Whatever you want to do, just get a couple holes in there, okay? So I'm going to do a number like this. Pretty simple. In the oven we go. Take a look at it, everybody. Gina Young style. Beef pot pie. Make you some. Listen here, everybody. If you all enjoyed this here video, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed, make sure you subscribe. Make sure you click on that notification bell so you can be notified every time Gina Young uploads one of these awesome recipes. Tell your family and friends and everyone you know, tell the whole world about Gina Young, what I'm doing in this kitchen on a daily basis. Let's go ahead and say a quick prayer so you all can take a bite. Heavenly Father, we want to thank you once again for a beautiful day. Lord, we thank you for your love, time, your mercy, and your understanding. Please forgive us for our sins. Come into our hearts. We make you our Lord and Savior. 
Send your angels down to surround us day and night and your Holy Spirit to help us make good decisions. Give us peace over our minds in the name of Jesus. We pray that no weapons formed against us shall prosper. We bind the devil away from us in Jesus' name. Devil, you have no authority over this household. Heavenly Father, we thank you for the roof over our head, the food, the love, the peace and the joy that you bring us every day. Amen. Amen. Once again to my beautiful prayer, let's go ahead and take some of this pot pie. <laughs> uh, hey, look, that right there, this is what you call beef pot pie. Look at that big piece of beef sticking out. When you taste it, Gina Young style, you're not going to get four or five pieces of beef. And every bite that you take, you're going to have a hunk of beef. Those fresh veggies, listen here. Okay, give me one second and we'll take a bite. I'm so excited. Amen. Once again, to my beautiful prayer, look at this right here. Oh, 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 look at that feeling. My goodness. Okay, let's get this out the way so you all can take a bite. Ooh, I know you hear the dogs in the background. They want some and they want some now. Let's get under that crust. Oh, mm. look at the beef. <laughs> look at the veggies. And that gorgeous crust. Let's put, it, let's put a piece of crust right there. Mm, mm, mm. And as always, God bless you all. Thank you all for watching. Good night.